Hi, I'm Bruce Wallace. Uh, I'm the designer of the Beetle Buster baseboard. We have a problem called small hive beetle in Australia. It's a very destructive pest that uh, only takes a short time to get into a hive and destroy a hive. My baseboard will stop the beetle on the base. It won't allow the beetle up into the hive. The, um, the baseboard itself, that is the front entrance here where the bees land and go in and up and onto the main, main base. The little gap you can probably see there is where the beetle go in. They've already been tracked as soon as they land to go in there. The bees don't go in underneath there, they just happily go onto the baseboard and do their own business. If the beetle just happens to uh, not go on there and get onto the baseboard, well, unfortunately it still can't go up into the hive because of this angle here, right around and right out to the front of the hive stops the beetle from travelling up because it's got two steerer legs at the front and two, drive, two sets of driver legs at the back. It can't change direction on the 90 degree angle. So it's stuck on the baseboard. While it's stuck on the baseboard, the bees are walking around doing their general clean up of the bottom and badgering the, be uh, the beetle and pushing it down the hole. And this is where the beetle end up dead. Great result. If you pull it around here and have a look, you'll see a row of core flute right along here. That's where the beetle comes out into here and onto the tray. Um, Great idea because the bees can't fit down the core flute. The beetle is pushed down by the bees. So generally from probably about 80% 80, 80 of the time the beetle will come out here and the other 20% of the time will come from the, the uh, surface of, of the base, which is on here. So there's a um, the good, uh, good thing about the, the uh, design of the, the, the bottom here is that the, um, the uh, wax cappings from the brood and the general waste from the bees is placed down the holes underneath and it goes onto the inspection tray at the back. Easy to clean, easy to maintain. Um, it doesn't overwork the bees by having to place all the rubbish out the front, which is normal on a, con on a, con on a conventional hive. So their housekeeping is made a lot easier. This is my Beetle Buster baseboard. Um, I haven't checked it for just over three weeks, which is a little bit longer than I would normally go. And wow, that is amazing. I've never seen so many dead beetles. There must be, oh, hard to say, there must be almost a hundred beetles. This, this would have been the end of my hive if I didn't have a beetle buster baseboard. So I've been very happy with my purchase. Oh, let's just get that one done. Yep, excellent. The first thing I notice when people uh, either email me or message or get in contact with me, phone call, is to say that when they've uh, got their baseboard delivered, they've noticed the very, very, very good quality of the baseboard. It's, each baseboard is handmade, it's hand detailed, and they're all exactly the same. The quality of the baseboard is paramount to a professional looking product. It's, it's, it looks good under any hive. It serves its purpose. It controls the hive beetle. And basically, what more could you want? <laughs>